Hello everyone, in this video we'll show you how to set up and use the brand new channel calendar feature in Microsoft Teams. We've been waiting for a proper channel calendar in Teams and they're finally here. These shared calendars allow you to create events for your channels and users have the option to join any meeting added to them that they wish. They can create events and meetings as well as add channel meetings to their own personal calendars. Let's first see how to add a channel calendar and then use them effectively. To add a channel calendar, we simply add it as a brand new tab for that channel. Start within a channel that you want to have the channel calendar in, select the add a tab option and from there choose channel calendar. We'll give the calendar a name and choose whether or not to post the addition to the team's channel. When you're ready, choose add and you'll be redirected to your brand new channel calendar. All users within the team will now be able to access and use this shared calendar of the channel. Let's now create an event in the channel calendar to understand how it works. To create an event, select add new event. We'll insert the meeting title and add the required attendees. You're able to invite any user that you wish to this meeting. What's advantageous of using the channel calendar is that even if you don't invite users that are a part of the team, they'll be able to view the calendar, join events within that channel calendar, and add those events to their own personal calendars. Set the date and time, the recurrence, and notice that this meeting is by default a channel meeting. Please note that all meetings created within a shared channel calendar are by default channel meetings, and there's no way to remove that feature. We can set the details of the meeting, such as the agenda, and select send to invite the users to that meeting. When you create an event within a channel calendar, it is added to it, and when we navigate to our own calendar view, we can see it there as well. This isn't the case for all users within the team. Other members of the team are able to view the calendar events and join them if they want to. The invited users that you added will also have the meeting within their personal calendar. We'll head back to the shared calendar. We're able to view all of the events of channel calendars that we have access to, even events that we're not invited to. This gives us the ability to join the meetings that we wish. When another user creates a meeting in the channel calendar, we can add it to our own calendar or join it with just a few steps. Select the event that you wish to join, from which you can select the join option to enter that channel meeting. You can also double click the meeting item in the channel calendar to review all the details and add it to our own calendar by selecting this option. When we select add to calendar, we automatically add it to our own personal calendar and accept the meeting simultaneously. When we navigate to our personal calendar view, you'll see the meeting from the shared calendar and you can join it when the time comes from either location. Within the channel calendar, you can manage events that you personally created. Double click the meeting that you wish to edit, where you can change the title, add required users, edit the agenda, or even cancel the meeting. Select close once you're finished updating it. Just like other channel tabs, you can access the tab conversation, go full screen, and even start an on the fly meeting with the meet option. If required, you can edit this tab by selecting the tab dropdown where you can access the settings, rename the tab, and remove it entirely from the channel. Channel calendars are a great way to enhance your collaboration within a Microsoft team, and we hope that you're excited to use them. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and check out the description for our exclusive coupon codes to our Udemy courses.